it says we're live so hopefully we're live without issues knocking on wood oh gotta be careful doing that that will cause the dog to bark <laughs> hello everyone happy friday hello 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 i see the chat is starting to get active and fill up over there thank you guys for coming I hope you get to stay most of the sale too, Wendy. All right, let me kind of scroll back up here, see who I missed. Hey, Jamie, good to see you, Roylene. I always feel bad now. Okay, I start, I start committing to saying names. I don't want to leave anybody out, so I got to scroll all the way up. Of course, I've already been saying hello to my moderators already this morning. Um, got Bree and Tiger, got Rag1602, hello, hello, Elaine, who else is this, Jewelry by Denise, Barbara Phillips, Linda Barnum, hello everyone, J-Mom, there's Joni and Lori, I feel like romper room, wait, wait, where's my little, <laughs> where's my little thing here, I have one around here somewhere, oh, and I see... Joni and Eddie and how many of you remember Romper Room? I do that so I can see what youngsters I have attending these sales. Probably not many. <laughs> All right. I have a very, very special assistant today who's actually not afraid to be on camera. <laughs> it is Tiffany. <laughs> So Tiffany has a channel called Thrifting Vegas. If you haven't gone over there and checked out her videos, you should do so because uh, we both have fun in the Vegas area, thrifting and putting out good content for you guys. All right. First time on chat. Watch videos all night. Hi, Teresa. Welcome, welcome. Trying to learn the business. Yeah, sometimes learning and just jumping in, just jumping in. No. You were on Romper Room? No way. No way. That's so cool. I love that. Hi, Debbie R. Hi, Margaret. Judith. I'm not meaning to miss anyone. I promise. But sometimes it gets going really fast. Kathy. All right. We have enough people here to kind of start going over the lay of the land, so to speak, how it's going to work today. Um, we have a bunch of items to get to today. Oh, shoot. I was going to add to a lot. I found another, found another sun catcher that I was going to add to this other sun catcher. And it's in that, I think it's in that, um, kind of bag thing. No, in front of you, the brown on the floor. Nope. Turn around. <laughs> a warmer, warmer. Let's see, did I stick it in? Oh, maybe I didn't. I was out in the garage, perusing around, going through stuff. No, nope, apparently I didn't stick it in there. Apparently I'm losing my mind. Mm. Oh, well. Never mind. Disregard. <laughs> That's how my life is sometimes, just all over the place. Anyways, um, so the way this is going to work today. Today is a jewelry sale. So everything still starts at a dollar like it does in all of my sales. It's $1 bid increments. We don't do change. And um, you are welcome to bid more than a dollar, but it has to be at least a dollar. If anything happens to get over $50, we jump up to $5 bid increments. Um, let's see. You might see this little thing right here in the corner a portion of your proceeds today do go to the niche foundation which is a nonprofit that i formed to help disadvantaged women start their own online businesses uh let's see make sure that you i'm buffering no don't say that don't say that i should not be buffering sometimes it's on it's your internet reception that causes the buffering not so much on mine yeah see because tiger's not seeing any issues so i mean um bag oh yeah we're gonna have the noisy dog it's gonna be going off today because noah's getting ready to go to a friend's house so every time she hears the gate 
creek. <laughs> okay, no buffering. Okay, Bree, it's probably on your end if you're, I don't know if you are on the road again today or or what, but um, sometimes just refreshing. We'll bring that back. Oh, you're in Europe. Well, hello. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. I have my list, so I don't like keep squirreling off topic here. Make sure you're in live chat, not top chat. YouTube likes to put you in top chat. I don't know why. We want you to be in live chat so you don't miss anything. Um, if you spend $25 or more today, you will get free shipping. Uh, and that is whether you buy one item or 10 items, whenever you get to that $25 mark, you're free shipping for the rest of the sale on everything. Uh, so just so you know that, I do giveaways at the end of the sale. I love to give stuff away. I have to remember that I have to grab my phone back and be like, okay, I got it. Um, because we do a little system where um, we have an app that draws numbers to make it all fair. Um, oh, I'm looking at my list. Okay, that does not apply today because I did not get any eBay listings up last week. Uh, and then... What am I forgetting? You can't outbid yourself. You can't outbid yourself. <laughs> Thank you. So if we're getting to the end, so we have a lot of you who like to do what's called sniping. And what that means is there are people who try to time the end so that they're jumping up a bid right at the last minute to try to get in there. So if you're like the winning bid on something and you're afraid somebody's going to come in and snipe, you can place a higher bid, and I will not take that bid unless somebody else bids. So it's kind of your way of, you know, just uh, protecting yourself, but you cannot outbid yourself. So be rest assured in that. I cannot do free shipping to Europe, of course, um, but it would be a discounted rate. Whatever it would have cost, you know, domestic, that's what I'll discount the overseas or Canada, or wherever that's not in the U.S. Um, let's see. Oh, Tiger was buffering. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's see. What else am I forgetting? I, I think we're good. So I, I'm watching my son like loading up his friends. Must be here to pick him up now. It get a little sad my little boy goes away. Um, I got distracted there. What was I going to say? Oh, yes. I do something that is a little different in that I do several auctions that are choice. And simply what that means is I'm going to hold up a couple different things and you're bidding on one of them, but you get your choice. And if you're the winning bidder, you can get choice A, choice B, or both. So it just makes it so you get first choice. Underbidders then can come in and have a choice. And what I ask is that if you are bidding on one of the choice lots, that you be ready to let me know what your choice is. That'll keep things moving really quick. Okay. I see more faces coming in. Aqua Girl, one, 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 one. And Susan, Susan Way. Uh, let's see. Picky Nikki is here. Thank you for sending that registration. Oh, yes. Thank you. That's a good reminder. Oh, Noah's got to kiss his mama goodbye because he is going away for the weekend. Yeah, move. Oh. And there's a dog under his feet. Mm. Bye, my love. Goodbye, mom. Be safe. Bye. Love you. Yep, I will be. All right. So there's that. Um, no, what was I going to say? This is it, this is going to be one of those days. Like my brain is just, boom, boom. Um, I, I have somebody working outside right now and we're just all over the place. Um, wait a minute. I, there was something that's going to nudge me to remember what I was just about. Oh yes. Yes. Registering. Uh, so if you've never been to one of my sales or you've never registered, meaning you've never sent an email to me with your real name, your YouTube name and your zip code. Now's the time to do that. Do that now. We do insist that that has to be in place in order for your bids to be accepted. And I got to tell you, since we have done that, 
we have not had an issue with the trolls knock on wood um but that just keeps it fair and square for everyone i know how to get a hold of you after the the sale and send you out invoices i'm gonna try to get those invoices out tonight if not tonight it'll be tomorrow we'll see how i feel after the sale because i i do have to drive to henderson and take rachel over to her dad's house and hopefully squeeze a goodwill in there <laughs> somewhere um so there you go Oh, Mary, that's awesome. Mary says she's going through my, my eBay course and loving it. Yeah. And it's not just a beginner course. That course will take you from beginner to advanced. So um, that is the proven eBay course. And I have that link down in the description if anybody else is interested. Okay. How about we get started. Let me just make sure my moderators, so they are the, the people over there in blue with the wrenches next to their names. They keep this whole thing running smooth for me. And we have Joni Collins Solds. I'm pretty sure Joni's here. And they'll be typing in all caps. Now they're not being rude. They're not yelling. That is so that I can kind of keep an eye on what's going on over there. So I know my moderators type in all capitals. Uh, so we got Joni on sold. I think we've got, we're going to have Jeannie um, telling us what lot is up, but I think Bree is going to do it until Jeannie gets there and can do some copy paste stuff. Melissa is going to run my spreadsheet over here for me and kind of keep everything straight. Um, yay, Joni's here. And uh, let's see, we've got... Who who is calling the winners? I don't even remember. Tiger, are you calling winners today? Is that what we decided? It's gonna let us know. I'll just make sure I got it all straight. I think I think that's that's how we planned it out. I think Tiger's okay. Very good. So Tiger's gonna say who he saw right before the sold. And the way, reason we do it that way is I can't. I can't call it, I mean, I can't call the sold because what I say right now, you're not hearing right now. And just to test that, when I say now, type now over in the chat and you're going to see just how much time goes by before you actually hear it. See, I'm already saying a whole bunch of other stuff. There it is. So that's called lag. So if I were to say sold and say, okay, I see so-and-so. That wouldn't be fair because you haven't even heard me say sold yet. So Joni types sold when she hears me say sold. And because you see your comments in a different order than, than everybody else sees them, we have somebody else put in who's actually the winner. Now, mine's pretty good at seeing real time. I'm using StreamYard and I get the comments hopefully in chronological order. So we just kind of go with that system and it's worked really good so far. And that's where we're going to run with it. All right, let's do our first lot. Dun, dun, dun. I'm not so sure this one needs close-up. And of course, as I said, I've got the wonderful Tiffany thrifting Vegas over here on close-up cam today. Oh, we have tanglies going on. Stand by. Always nice when the first item up for bid decides to tangle itself. What is going on here? It's got fishing line as a thing to hold it. And it's, oh, I see what happened there. Okay. We have this wonderful little sun catcher with a buzzard and a cactus that's going to fall right out of my hands. It is pewter. And it's pretty solid pewter too. There you go. Both sides. Comes in its little original box. And it says it was Silver City. Suncatcher. That's what it says on the tag there. And we're going to start it at $1. Lag is a very unpredictable creature. I hate lag. That's why I should get some shirts saying, like, I hate lag. We'd all wear those, right? All right. I see Susan at two. I've got Susan jumped it up to six. Susan is at six. 
And then what I do is I start seeing the bids slow down. I'll start counting it down, just like a real auction. I see Lynn at seven. And we're going once. We're going twice. And this is where it gets fun. The next thing I say is sold. Oh, and then if you can just use this to start, like stuff like that doesn't have to go in a basket because it's big enough, it won't get lost in the shuffle and we just fill this mm -hmm. thing up. Yep, top down, mm -hmm. probably just lower and save the top for the baskets. Everybody's saying hi to Tiffany. Hello, hello, hello. And just there it is. There's the soul. I see Lynn. I was for is it Comble or Comble? See, I should just not even say last names. Oh, let's get you off camera. Come here, my pretties. All right, so that goes to Lynn for seven dollars, and that's that's how we play. All right, going to get to do some close-up cam on this one. All right, there are, oh, I didn't count how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, there's 10 bracelets in this lot. So let me show you kind of what you're getting. There's rope, there's beads, there's little like friendship bracelets. You're going to get 10 of them as follows. So we have, these are like braided, like, well, how would you describe those? They're paracord. Oh, they're paracord. See, I would never have known that. Is that a thing? Are yes, those popular? It's a, it's a military first responder thing. Oh, ah, okay. Well, we have several of those. Well, three to be exact. Here's another one. Oh, let me put you on here. There you are. You are on. This one is little wood purple beads. It's purple. It shows really blue on there, but I promise you it is purple as purple can be. And then we have kind of these little, this one has like a little amber bead or faux, I should say faux amber bead. And it looks like little macrame almost. And then this one, oops, this one has little beads inside the, the twine thing going here. Oh, Bree says Boy Scouts too. Oh, Boy Scouts, first responders. Okay, you know, it's all that same kind of vibe. And we have this one has like some little silver tone beads on it. And then this, this one has a little dream catcher, kind of cute. And, and these are just like a little stretchy beaded. It's got some little charms. What are those charms? No, that's not supposed to be part. Wait a minute. What is happening here? You're, you do not go with these. Goodness, no charms. That was just a castaway. Um, this one has a little charm. There we go. That says sister. All right, you're getting all 10 bracelets, one money. Eight or oh, did I count wrong? Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, there's ten. There's ten, Brie. Just had to update the spreadsheet there so, so that when they go to be shipped, there are ten. Ten, ten, ten. All right. And is anybody bidding? No bids? Wait, I see Claudia at two. We have a $2 bid. Anyone else? Denver Broncos colors. Oh, yeah, that one kind of is. You're right. It's totally Denver Broncos colors. Sunflower Valley is at three. Bree is at five. We're at five dollars. We're going to start counting them down. Going once. Going twice. Oh, we got a power bid by Roylene of 10. 
and we're going to call them. See, I'm trying to let the lag work a little bit so you don't miss getting that bin in if you want to, but they are going to be sold. Dun, dun, dun. All right, and just like that. Then you can use the little basketies and keep them all together. Yeah, I thought they were pretty cool. I thought they were pretty cool. All right, guys, I'm going to get nervous here for you. Do the same on this one. Okay, we're going to do our first choice lot. That's okay, Chrissy. We just got started. We're only on lot number three. So there you go. There's my soul. Those are going to Roy Lean. It's good. I need another excuse to go back out to uh, Arizona, Roy Lean. So a bit away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's kind of, I'm just looking at this going, that's kind of odd how that is curved. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way. All right. Now, this is what I was talking about with choice. I have three pins here. Your bid is going to be for one of them. One of them of your choice, or you can take two of them, or you can take them all. So here are the choices. And just remember, you're bidding on one. So your bid amount is for one. This one is a Giovanni. It's a Giovanni. It's a really cool flower with a little center there. And this is the one I was talking about. It's it. I don't know if that's a little bent, and it can be bent back, or the curve is supposed to be. I mean, it's closed. It closes that way, so I'm not sure. And then it's signed right there in the middle. There you go. All right. So that's choice number one is the Giovanni. Then we have a, I believe this one is Monet. Am I, yep. This is the Monet, a little, I call it the ribbon, squiggly ribbon. Cover my face and it'll show it better. This one is signed. It's kind of a heavy piece for Monet. There it is. There's your Monet right there. So that's choice number two. This one is not signed, but it is it, it is a super cool pin pendant, actually. To me, it looks like coral. So I'm calling this the coral piece. Focus. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Come on, camera. Get with the program here. Oh, I'm just going to have to give you over to close-up cam to show it. There's the back. I'm going to let Tiffany show this one more as soon as I put her on the stream here. Ta -da. All right. Remember, you're bidding on one. And where's all my bidders today? Two dollars. We got Giovanni, Monet, and a really, really cool piece. $5 with Margaret. Got $5 with Margaret. Hello, Jeannie. Thank you for coming and helping. We're at $5. You guys should pull up an eBay and uh, do a little research. Where are all my bidders? Oh, there we go. Thank you, Jamie. We're at $12. Now, remember, if you're bidding and you are the winner, be sure you are ready to say which is your choice or choices. Okay, we're at $12. Going once. Going twice. And I see your 15, Margaret. Thank you. And we are going to call this lot. Bum, bum, bum. Sold. Now I'm going to leave those up on the screen for just a moment. So if you are the winner, be ready to tell me which one or ones you want. You've got the Giovanni, the Monet, or the coral, I like to call it. Just looks like coral. It doesn't look like coral. It does. It's it does. Great. Yeah. I love this one. And there's the soul. So Margaret, Margaret Alberts, Albert, Albers. Sorry about that. 
Margaret, you are the winner. So which one or ones would you like? And then Jamie, you're the backup bidder. She wants the flower, that Giovanni flower. All right, make sure we took the right one off of there. Uh, Jamie, did you want either one of these? silence like dead air <laughs> oh jamie ah it's the one she wanted to okay um you know what i think we'll just pass these on for another day then so thank you everyone so we'll just put those here i'll take those and put them down here with the unsolds all right now this next lot is a repeat because oh this goes with that sun catcher the sun catcher does have a little suction cup with it um this person decided that their feelings were hurt by a comment that had absolutely nothing to do with them decided that i was mean and then decided not to pay for all the things they had purchased so here they are again um this is a six piece lot of cross jewelry and i'm just not even gonna i'm just gonna briefly show you and then we're gonna put it on the close-up cam so let's split the screen up here again when you're good to go all right um here is a little pendant some nice enameling and some rhinestones there's the back and we've got getting six pieces in this lot this one has a little faux pearls little rhinestone in the middle silver tone was that marked oh it does this one says oh this is a sarah coventry that one's a sarah coventry mm -hmm. um i see ten dollars is with susan way first susan got the ten dollars in there first this one is lots of rhinestones, little pink rhinestones, really pretty. There we go, with a silver tone. And then the whole thing is beaded. Is that one marked? That one's not marked. All right, so then there's that one. And then there is, is that six? One, two, three. Wait, are we missing one? Oh, no. There's another one. I must have misplaced one of them. We'll count them up. It might only be five. Is that five? One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, it's five piece. My bad. Oh, wait, no, wait. Nope, here's number six. Whew. I know there was six pieces. It's tiny, tiny. It's just little. It's just a little. It's a little baby cross. It's a little tiny cross. Piece. Okay, that's the six. It is six pieces. All right, we are at $30 with Susan Way. $30 is with Susan. Remember, we're at free shipping now on this lot. Not only are we at free shipping for this lot, if you win this lot, that means you have free shipping for the rest of the sale, too. There you go. That's how it works. All right, we're at $30 going once. Going twice. And I always wait and see if my chat, see what I mean when I say my, I don't know if the chat's frozen or not. It was all of a sudden, whoa, it'll do stuff. And we're going to call this lot, drum roll, sold. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going to just throw them all back in this little box right there. <laughs> Uh, that she would be the perfect dog if she didn't do that like everything else about that dog is amazingly wonderful except for that <laughs> and and it's she was pretty bad before but since we lost Zena she's gotten really bad her uh, her anxiety is a little a little out there Okay. 
Okay. There's my salt. Susan Way for $37. Thank you, Susan. This next lot is two multi-strand beaded necklaces. Let me show you this one first. Now, the cord on this is nothing to write home about, but they're glass beads. They're all glass beads. Uh, and it's got some weight to it. They're just clear, I guess you'd call them kind of clear or white. It's like the string inside is white, making them look white, but they're clear beads. It's kind of cool. And there's four strands of them. So that's the first one. It's very vintage. Oh, it's almost blue. On it is almost blue when we put it down on the white. We'll show you. We'll show you. Well, there is some blue cording in there too. Okay. And then the other one, these are definitely little plastic beads. Looks like little faux pearls. Come on, focus. There we go. This is the beading. They're like different hues of kind of pink. I guess you'd call it pink. Here is the, the clasp at the top. So you're getting both of them. Maybe AB coating? I don't think so. But I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, she doesn't howl like you for do. Actually, for the giveaways at the end, it's it's everybody who is still here at the end. Um, I stopped trying to keep track of it just being the winners, so everybody can play along with the giveaways. I have never tried the clicker. If not. Maybe I'll try that. I thought it was like a reward though. Like how would the clicker work if you're doing it as a stop barking? Hmm. All right. We are at $5 on the two necklaces. Are we all in all done? We're going once. We're going twice. And we're going to call them sold. See, if you were Rachel, you'd be saying, forgetting something. Because <laughs> that's what she does. Oh, my gosh. It was so cute, you guys, when we were out filming. Now, I didn't, I didn't even suggest to her to film. It was something that she took upon herself and just went for it. I came, came around the corner and she had, you know, she was doing her little filming thing at the Goodwill and I came up and I like tried to say something to her and she just looked at me like, mom, I'm filming. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> she was very much getting into it. So kind of exciting. There's my sold. Oh, we got Royleen came in at $10 on those. We are now on lot number six, which is these very bougie ladies right here that are real mink. Ooh, they are real mink. And um, they're styling. I'll show you one at a time. She looks very, uh, she looks very art deco to me with her little cap on I there wish. and oh yeah look at those eyes. she's like roaring 20s all the way with her little little mink there and here's what the back looks like now i'm not saying this is from the 1920s i'm saying she just looks like she's from the 1920s just to clarify that they are plastic i want to verify that are they plastic or ceramic what do you think i think they're plastic yeah, yeah. Cool. And then this one's just got the mink going on, and she's uh she's got quite the little setup there. That's what she looks like. Okay, we'll show them on the close up cam. Yeah, we're working on it. Uh, we're gonna get we're gonna get her shop opened. Um, she's just been at horse camp as a counselor. 
and she literally gets dropped off at 7.30 in the morning and I pick her up at 4.30 Monday through Friday and she is wiped out when she gets home. She has fallen asleep a couple times, you know, just like, <laughs> she's got the work and life going. She's starting to enjoy her weekends. Yeah, let's see. We got six dollars with Barbara Phillips. I'm at six. You're getting both pins, both pins for one money. Fairy Crafting and Collector is at seven dollars. Seven dollars on the Mink Ladies. I've got ten dollars with Warren. Are we all in? Carla, Warren got you at the $10 before. We need 11 or better. Give you a chance to get that in, and I'll start counting them down. Going once. Going twice. And so. Hi, Dolores. I see your bid coming in there. All right, we are going to do another choice lot. I finally found, although it's not in this sale, I finally found the stuff that I bought in San Diego months ago. Um, for those waiting on the porch project, it's getting very close to filmable. Just saying that. <laughs> Getting kind of excited about it. There we go. Carla C for $15. All right. Okay. Again, this is a choice lot. What that means, you're bidding on one set of these. Oops. Hold on. So I don't stab myself. I'm going to close the pin. So your bid is for one set of pin and earrings that match. And they are enameled. I think they're I think they're porcelain. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Tiffany confirm my thoughts on that. I'm gonna give her the close-up cam. Is that porcelain? Enameled porcelain? Yep. Okay, so. it's enameled porcelain. All right, so there's the first set. And then the second set is this one right here. It's got the triangular pin and the, the earrings are pierced on both of them. Are this? Yeah, they are. They're pierced earrings. They're very, um, I want to say 80s, 90s. Yeah. Yeah. 80s, 90s. All right. And we are at $5. This one's got some little raised little stones or something on it too. That one's really cool. We're at $5. Choice of one set. We're calling it either the oval or the triangles. These look a bit orange, but they're more pinky. Yeah, they're uh, kind of a rose color, like a almost on the verge of being peach. Golden girl style. So Blanche. Ah, there we go. You know, I never watched that show. Not one episode. Not one. Not one. All right. Are we all in all done? I've got one $5 bid. And we're going once. And we're going twice. All right. We're going to call them sold. So as soon as we see the sold come up. Just waiting for the sold in the lag. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, you didn't watch it till you were 50. 
There's my soul. Roman snuck in at the end at $10. Roman, do you want the ovals, the triangle, or both? Oh, UPS at the front door. Don't you hate that? Roman Leverins, do you want the oval? Okay. All right. And I'm going to just open this. If anybody else would like, I'm Warren, you get first shot at the set for 10. Um, and if if nobody wants this for 10, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass it. So if you'd like this set for 10, um, Warren gets first chance as the underbidder, but if anybody else wants to set for 10, let me know. Otherwise we will, he'll take it for 10. Okay, perfect, thank you. All right, oops, there I did it again. All right, now we have some Mexican sterling silver is how these are marked. Again, this is a choice. And I will tell you they're marked um, Mexico 925. And I think they are. I don't have a tester. And as you guys know, um, I'm not guaranteeing that they are silver. I'm telling you what I see, what I think. I believe these are genuine sterling because there's really no reason for them not to be. Uh, and they look like sterling. So your choice is either the abalone, right there, which we'll show you close up, or the coral. So let me just get those straight over to the close up cam so you can see the marks on them as well. So we have a coral and we have abalone. And they're actually really beautiful. Your bid is for one of them, but if you are the winning bidder, you have your choice and you can buy them both if you want. I see $5 is with Warren. 15 with Lori. Lori got in there for 15. 16 with Susan Way. How long are they? Well, if I could find my handy dandy little ruler, I could tell you. Let's see. They are. One. I would call it one inch. It's just like slightly over one inch on that one. And this one's one. Okay, what's that measurement between a quarter and a half? I don't know. <laughs> it's whatever that is. It's between is a it quarter and a half. Is it three eighths? I think so. It's a little more than one and a quarter on the half one. <laughs> 20 dollars is what 25 i see so we're at free shipping Lori is at 25 it is an eighth or three eighths three eighths now it's not three quarters three quarters would be after it's the half then it's five eighths and then yeah that would be five eighths you're right three quarters five eighths and then what all right now everybody's typing that in and i lost where the bid's at the bid is at 25 with Lori. I'm at 25 with Lori going once. And remember, it's choice. So be ready to tell me which one or ones that you want, either the coral or the abalone. Going twice. And sold. From Ireland. Hello, Pauline. That is where uh, Jordan would love to move. She would love to move to Ireland. And I would be sad because I would never see her. 
because I don't want to get on an airplane over water. <laughs> it's just for my tw- thing. For 11 hours. <laughs> for, yeah. <laughs> never mind. They can like 11 hours of it. Yeah. That's why I've never been to Australia. I've never been to Hawaii. I've never been anywhere that I have to go, which is really, really silly because if that plane's coming down, <laughs> it it doesn't matter if you're over water, does it? In fact, you actually have a better you have a better chance if you're over water. <laughs> I know it's so silly. I just don't like being cold. The thought of like being in the cold ocean, you know, I don't know. Not good. It is silly. It's an irrational fear. All right, there's my soul, Lori. Would you like Lori wants the abalone? Uh, let's see who was my underbidder. Uh, Susan, were you interested in the coral? Xanax is my favorite. Place. Yeah, I used to take the Xanax for flying, but then what would happen is I'd get to my destination and I would be so groggy. I couldn't function. And most of my travel is for like business conferences and speaking engagements. So I just got to the point where I just suck it up and do this, Danny. <laughs> Okay, Susan, did, uh, okay, is anyone interested in the coral cross for $20? Because that was the underbid. So I'll, I'll match the underbid at $20. If anybody's interested, speak now or we will put it aside for another day. All right. And we will carry on. Ooh, it's a tough crowd today. It's a tough crowd. Oh, you guys wanted the abalone. Okay. Um, bump, bump, bump. Four pendants. Oh, I know what this is. Getting a little scared to sell some of this stuff today. It's the summer slowdown, huh? Yes. Warren will take it for 20. Okie dokie. There you go. All right, this next lot, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it in the little box it's in and put it straight over to the other camera. There are four pendants in this lot. This is you're getting them all. This is not choice. This is you're getting all for one money. Four pendants. Now the only one that I think I see a mark on is this crazy little bear, but I cannot for the life of me tell if that says he might be sterling. What do you see there? I cannot read it. I've done the, the microscope, microscope, the magnifying glass. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. Work is overrated. More fun to be here. <laughs> That's for sure. And we're at $1 with Barbara. Oh, you guys are giving me heart palpitations today. Five dollars with Warren. Oh look, his tail's the loop. His lovely. tail is the loop. Yeah, I know that one's not sterling. I can just kind of tell on yeah, that one. It doesn't have the way. It doesn't have the sterling look to it. The bear is the one that I think could be. It's a little little cupid guy. Little cupid. Oh, he's double sided. That's nice. Three dimensional cupid. I see ten dollars like, with Warren. I like this one. The starfish is very cool. Starfishy. I don't know. Let me let me see that one. Let me show them the bear. Let me, oh yeah, this one doesn't have the feel of sterling. I don't know. If it turns out to be, that would be fantastic. No, I don't think that. But the bear, I don't know, that, that bear says something, and it's got the look. It's got that little bit of tarnish going on. And he is marked. He is marked. But you're getting them all. Getting them all. We're at $12 for four pendants. All right, $12 is where we're at. Going once. 
That is $3 a pendant. Going twice. My loop's right here, but it it's, I couldn't read it. Even the loop, I could not read it. Where's my littler loop? Loop-de-loop. -loop. You know what? Let me try this loop real quick. Stand by. Ooh, this loop is better. Uh, oh, I think it says... I see E-R-R-I. Is it a Jerry or Jer... I don't know. It's a little blended together, so it's very hard to read, but it doesn't say sterling. I can verify that. All right. We are at $20. Did I say going once? You did now. I did now. <laughs> going twice. And sold. Did it I did it again all right and the winner is Warren Hart for twenty dollars okay the next item is this beauty which this is the second run through. Again, the lady that won this decided that she was not going to honor any of her purchases. And guys, I really count on this stuff getting paid for and uh, get it shipped out. This is sterling. This is a sterling ring. I'm not going to accept a $5, you know, ending bid on this, just so we're clear. <laughs> um, this is a sterling silver porcelain ring marked right in there which we will show you a little better in just a moment oh you can see it really good right there look at that and it is a size it is a size five and a half that's a size five and a half there you go oh i should probably put you on there Size five and a half. When we are at twenty dollars, twenty dollars. I'm just checking something real quick while you guys are bidding. Let me see. Okay. We're at twenty dollars. pinky size for you. Is it pinky size? No. If it's, no. Oh. Tiffany's trying to try it on. Small, small. It's a little. It's a little ring, yep. And you have small fingers they too. Do. I do. We're at $30. It sold for over 40 the first time. I love the detail though. That silver is so pretty. Oh, it's gorgeous. The little florals in the top. Yeah. It could not have been easy to make a porcelain ring with silver. Right. I mean, I've worked for a jeweler and I know the process in making a ring. Um, and how do you do that without breaking the porcelain? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, she says you have piano hands. <laughs> Do you play piano? Thank you, Melissa. I was forced to as a young girl. Oh, <laughs> so now you don't like to. No. That's so sad. I don't. Yeah, I think you either have the talent or you don't. And my talents are in other areas. <laughs> my, my grandmother uh, was also forced. She she had the the teacher that would hit her with the ruler if she. My teacher up. would 
bonk me on the head with the piano. Oh! But he'd roll it up and hit me on the head if I played a wrong note. No! Mr. Parrot, he was, uh, yeah, not fun. Stand by, guys. I'm dealing with a little situation over here. It does look good on. It's really pretty. And it's got. It's not really heavy, but it's got some good weight. All right, we're at forty dollars. Thank you, Lynn. I appreciate that. Makes me feel a little better selling for the same as it sold before. So we're going once. We're going twice. I know it's worth it. This is an awesome ring. And we are going to call this one. So. Now the question is, can you get it back on? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Here, my pretties. We have some shell jewelry. Now, it's interesting. I bought this jewelry. One, two, three, four, five, five pieces. I bought this jewelry at different places, and yet it all matches. Uh, must be the type of shell that it is. So there are five pieces all together, and it's all for one money. So here is the necklace. There's only one necklace. So And it's got little wood beads in the shape of flowers. I don't know is that considered boho or shells boho yes i think so are they okay good it's almost like macrame as well yeah and then here's the pin so we've got the pin here with the same type of shell it's on a little plastic backing you can see the plastic backing here is the the hardware that you guys like to see okay. And then there's three sets of pierced earrings. Oh, I take that back. Mm, scratch that. One set of pierced earrings. Oops, come on, Danny. There we go. One set of pierced earrings. And then one set of screw back earrings. And these are really cute. Look at the little flowers on these. So they made the shells into little, little roses, little rose buds. And then one set is clip-on, just regular clip-on. So there you go. You're getting all of it together. And we are at $15. Just so they know, I think this one. It's oh, it's missing. It's missing just a little. Okay, you're right. Yep, the little tip is missing on the pin here. But I think if you wear it that way. Yeah, it's really it, hard to tell. Yeah, it almost looks like a sort of floral thing. Yep, thank you for pointing that out. All right, we're at $15. We're going to count it down. Going once. Hello, Hustle and Budget Mom. Going twice. And sold. Are you watching the time? I'm good. I took okay. care of it. Thank you. Oh, good. Okay. And the winner is, hi, Kathy Barnett. Yes, you're here. You're in the right place. As long as you have sent over your email with your real name, your YouTube name, and your zip code, you're good to go. We are on. And there's my soul. Uh, Dolores Cowie for $23. Dolores Cowie for $23. Oh my goodness, Deborah, your timing is, is impeccable because look what I'm doing next. You almost missed it. It's the owl of the, of the sale. Uh, he's a cute little enameled owl. He is 
got the little filigree on the back. If my camera will focus, come on. There we go. It's on a nice size chain. Put him over here and actually put you on the camera. There we go. Oh, we got the power bid going right there, right off the bat. Did you mean 55? You just need to verify that. You might have meant five. Verify that bid, Deborah. Because you would have scared everybody away with that bid. Oh my goodness, kids one through three years old and you've had 85 of them. Oh. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> How are you awake? <laughs> all right, she says all good. All right. That is a power bid. So we are going once. We are going twice. I'm pretty sure we are sold to Deborah. Thank you for that. What? Bark box, green smell, razor, skunk, squeak, plush dog toy. Uh, are you multitasking, Joni? <laughs> Did you? Did you copy and paste something? <laughs> eBay listing. No, I think she's shopping because she's getting <laughs> a new puppy. And she's a little, she's in that little puppy crazy mode. <laughs> I know what's going on there. <laughs> now we all know what to send Joni. <laughs> That's fun. All right. Up next. We have the genuine Indian handmade sterling silver bird earrings. I didn't make that up. That is what it says on the card. They are little little fetish birds. And they are sterling silver on their original. It's got a story on the back too. What let's see what they're made of. They're I see coral. The birds themselves are are they stone or sterling? Well, here, you look closer. No, I think they're stone. So just the little si silver bead and the, oh, I never even took you off camera there, did I? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh good. I'm falling down on the job, as usual. Um, some kind of a little stone. Yeah, I think, and then the silver, it's all stone. Yeah, so the, the fittings themselves and then the little beads are sterling and... There's some green. What is that green? Yeah, it's like an onyx green. And then a deep. Um, or is it, let's see what it says on the back. Really? What materials do they have there? You read it because your voice is so much better. It says, the use of turquoise, shell, jet, and coral as personal adornment by southwestern Indians dates from prehistoric times. And the use of silver by the Navajo, Zuni, and Hopi is almost 100 years old. This is an Indian handmade product and should not be confused with mass-produced costume jewelry imitations. Where used, all stones are genuine. Turquoise is the birthstone of December and signifies success. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that turquoise signifies success. And it's, it's funny because there's different schools of thought on turquoise being the birthstone for December. Blue zircon is the one that you'll always find is the birthstone, but I always thought it was turquoise. But there's no turquoise on these. That I don't, I don't think that green is turquoise. It could be green turquoise. Actually, it could be. I don't know if it is. Yeah, I'm not. No, I'm leaning toward that being something else. Leaning toward it being something else. What did it say? The use of turquoise shell, jet, and coral. Maybe it's jet. Is jet kind of a greenish? Black. I thought jet was black. 
like jet black. I, might, I wonder if it's coral. The coral is the red. Hmm. Where are all of my my stone people usually telling me what stuff is? You guys are usually really good about that. <laughs> Do you see that, Tiffany? <laughs> Can she record some bedtime oh. stories for me? Her voice is so soothing. Jamie. Just watch her <laughs> videos and she'll talk to you for what? 20 to 30 minutes at a time. And you know, Alex of uh, Chapter 2 Vintage puts my videos on and they put her to sleep and I don't know whether to be flattered or not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jet is black. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, I know turquoise can be green, but that's really green. All right, where's my bid at? Let's see, where are we at? $30 with Warren Hart. Oh, Euconite? 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 Who knows? You get them? They are what they are. <laughs> They're really pretty. <laughs> they are really pretty. All right, we are $30 going once. Going twice. And sold. Say they need more Tiffany videos. <laughs> she needs more hours in the day for that. <laughs> yes. All right. Where did I go with stuff? That's the question. Mine come out Sunday mornings. Hopefully when the children are back at school, we'll have two a week. But for now, just Sundays. <laughs> Okay, we have two. Oh, oh, there we go. There's the soul. Oh, um, Carla, see, you did. You won the mink ladies. And welcome back. All right, we have roses. We have two rose pins. Uh, I can't remember now if they're marked or not. I don't. I don't think they are. So this one's a pretty good sized one. It is. It is four and a quarter inches long, this, this one, with a little faux, faux pearl in the center there. All right, so there's that one. And then the other one is, well, let me, since I gave you a measurement on that one, I'll give you a measurement on this one. It's three inches. And there is that one. There we go. Pretty little rose there. A great room on the head or something like this. The roses were quite popular. Yes. I think they still are. Diocide? Still stuff. talking about the green. Yeah. Tiny little gemstones in it. Faux sounds so much sexier than fake. I agree. I totally agree. Always use faux. Tracy B. We yeah, we chat or two in between. So the bidding, once you see something that I'm showing, the bidding can begin. We don't have like a start official, like it's you just start bidding. Yep. You can just jump in. Jump in and bid. All right, we're at $20 with Hustle and Budget Mom. $20 is where we're at. We're going once. We are going twice. And let's call them sold. Okay, now to remember what, okay, what's these ones? And the winner is, envelope please. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta fill that lag time space there. Because <laughs> we know Joni is uh, puppy shopping. <laughs> She's got to copy and paste her soul again. <laughs> there we go. 
Um, nope, I see it's thirty dollars to hustle and budget. Oh, oh, never mind. I see, I see. Good catch, Tiger. Thank you. I missed that. That was that. Just in case bid. Okay. Next we have six beaded necklaces. Um, uh, let's see. These are just some sweet little. Here, it goes this way because there's some different color ones there. I think these are glass. Feels like glass, right? Oh, my bad. There we go. <laughs> um, these have real stones mixed between the little faux pearl. I think they're faux pearls. Pretty sure, sure those are faux pearls, but if you got them and they turned out to be real pearls, that would be exciting, wouldn't it? And there's that one. There is this one that I'm pretty sure these are plastic and not stone. They don't have the coolness to be stone, but I mean, they're cool. And then we have definitely some little, well, are they? They're little quality plastic. They've got some weight. Maybe they're not. See, this is why I don't sell jewelry on eBay because I don't know for sure on stuff. I mean, I'm going to say they're plastic. Maybe they are. Maybe they aren't. They have some weight to them. That's why I question it. These are that like satiny material. Very vintage. And they're purple. And then last but not least, these do have a coolness to them, but I don't know if they're glass or stone. I have a second, a second set of eyes here to look at them. But it's a double strand. What do you think on those? Because they've got a little bit of weight to them. It's hard to tell, but they're a little mysterious. Definitely vintage. They're mystery beads. Mystery beads. They're a great color. Actually, that that is not the best way to tell if a, real, a pearl is real. Because the faux pearls have gotten really good at faking out the grit. Like that's what these manufacturers do is they figure out how we're figuring it out and then they make something that fools us. So do they glow? Do they which ones? Maybe oh. Those. I, do you think I have my black light with me today? <gasps> Tiffany has hers. Ooh. Mine's in the other room. Wait, and I said it the last time we did this that I was going to get my second black light out and keep it in here. Let's see. Anything glowing? Here, let's. See. No, no. No glowies. No glowies. Do pearls glow? Yeah, I was thinking maybe carnelian, but. Yeah, no glowies. It was worth a shot. Well, it was worth a shot to see if it glows. I know, I know I need to keep one in here. I don't know. You, you guys, if you if you saw my life right now, <laughs> I have like six different projects all in process. My house is this chaotic mess right now. Because we've been moving stuff around and organizing, going from this room to this room. So there's boxes and that's like, and then we had rain. So I had to pull a bunch of stuff in from the outside real quick. Oh my gosh. It's, yeah. I'll find it. Okay. We are at $11 with Anna S. That is for all six necklaces. $15 with Roman. $15. And we're going once. Satin beads. That's the word I couldn't remember. Yes, satin beads. And going twice. 
I always said if I ever got it all together, I would be unstoppable. <laughs> right now I'm pretty stoppable. <laughs> and we are going to call this lot sold. Alrighty then. Let's see. What did I do? It broke. What? It broke. Oh, she was like, I broke it. What did you break? <laughs> um, where did it go? Hold on. Intermission. Stand by. Oh, it was waiting for you. We had rain yesterday and the storm drain outside our garage flooded. So we have to get, <laughs> make sure the city oh. comes and snakes it. <laughs> have fun. Yeah. Okie dokie. This is another repeat because, well, that person just decided she didn't want to pay for anything. This is the Russian lacquer pin. So Ooh. if you had your eyes on this before, this is your second chance on the Russian lacquer, hand painted. Come on, cooperate. Why aren't you cooperating camera? Really, come on. I have a way I can auto, now I can take auto focus off and just do it myself, but it's time consuming. So what we're gonna do instead is just hand it over to Tiffany. <laughs> Why am I even trying? Uh, I see $10 with Susan Way. Exactly, Kathy. Yep, yep. You just got to you gotta focus one at a time. My problem is like when I start focusing, I get a little obsessed with trying to finish something and then everything else kind of falls by the wayside. So I have to set myself a timer. I'm like, I'm going to work on this for one hour and then I have to give it up at that hour mark and go work on one of the other things, but giving it full attention, you know, for that one hour really helps. Oh, she wants to know if the paint glows. Still got that black light out. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, Makes the whole thing. It's great. The whole thing is glowing. Yeah. I don't know if see you guys that? can see that, but the whole thing is glowing. It goes from black it's to... It's glowing. It's glowing green. It's it's way better in person, you guys. Whoa. That's pretty awesome. It almost looks like it's translucent when you put the black light on it. Ooh. I wish, I wish a video would show what we're seeing. Yep. Who said who said to check the black light? Because you were spot on. Look at that. Ooh, it's so cool. Yeah. If you win this, put the black light on it. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Because it's it's jet black without that light on it. And just looking at it, and then when you put that, you put that light on it, it just goes green. It goes green. Oh, okay. Jeannie has one from Russia. Thank you, Jeannie, for that tip. Thank you. Thank you. That's fantastic. Awesome. All right. Now we'll, we'll go back to showing you how it looks without that. And we are at $70 with jewelry by Denise. $70 is where we're at. We're going once. We're going twice, and we're going to call it sold as soon as the lag catches up. A little bit of Sarah Coventry coming up. I... Yeah, I'm really bad about using my black light. I really am. Unless I'm kind of like reminded. It's like, oh yeah, better check that. There's my soul. It's 
So the winner was Jewelry by Denise. Thank you for that, Denise. All right, this is three Sarah Coventry pins. Two of them match. One of them does not, <laughs> except that it's a Sarah Coventry. So these are the two matching. One is bigger, one is smaller. It's like a basket weave. Put those over there. Turn that camera on. And then this one is a little leaf with a little faux pearl in the center. But they are all signed Sarah Cove. She must have hated having that long name, you know, having to break up her name on it. I've never, I have seen some that spell it out, but most of them are just C-O-B. Sarah Cove. Have to be a big piece, wouldn't it? Hey, Cove. <laughs> All right. It'd be really nice together, these two, the different sizes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they are. On Just a black the, dress. Yeah. The, uh, the basket weave is really cool. All right. Any interest in the Sarah Coventry? Anybody, anybody? Oh, you had the... The earrings that match the pins back in the day. Yep, back in the day. That's what we say. Mm, I don't think so, Deborah. No, this is not choice. This is not choice. These are all together. These are all together. You're getting all three pins, one money. But if we have no interest, we're going to pass them. I've got Flojo 6274. I'm at $15 with Hustle and Budget Mum. 15 with Hustle and Budget Mum. Sorry, I'm multitasking, guys. All right, we're going once. Hi, Normie. We're going twice. And so. Now remember, if you have been bidding and winning some things, that once you have spent $25, you get free shipping. So keep that in mind. Okay, where did I put this? Put this right here. We have oops, some more of the agate pendant. Now this is a choice. This one is a choice. Your choices are, we have a gray onyx agate. This one is like almost see-through. It's really cool. Well, maybe you can show how the light kind of comes through it on that one. Now that, I've assigned numbers to these. So wait, at the end, when you give your choice, just tell me the number. So that is number 39. That one is number 39. This one, I believe this is the white fire agate. I love this one. White fire agate. This one is number 37. Number 37 on that one. Or we have the blue onyx agate. And this again is a slice that you can almost see through. And then it's got the blue crystalline around the outside and that is number 46 or you can say the blue because that one's easy to know all right we are at fifteen dollars i see susan way at 15 you could paint a scene oh i should have had rachel do it now she's not really a scene painter she's an animal painter but i could have had her put an animal on it we're at $18 with Warren. 20 is with Jules Robson. 
I have Jules first. And 25 with Mallory Crawford. 25 is with Mallory. Rachel has booked this one. Yeah, Rachel's very busy. She's doing some commissioned artwork still right now. She's got to finish that first. And the bad thing is that she goes to her dad's on the weekends, and that's like her downtime. So she's yeah, she's learning what it's like to squeeze stuff into her, her busy schedule. All right. We're at free shipping. I got Mallory at 26. I've got Julie at 29. Warren is at 30. We're going once. And be ready. Yep, be ready to give me your choice or choices. We're going twice. Got Mallory at 32. And sold. Let a little lag time go by. Wait for the soul to come up. Let's see a little bidding action soul happening. It's coming. Joni shopping. There it is. <laughs> All right. I see Warren. You get first pick. 37, 39, or blue. I'll just say that. Number 37, number 39, or the blue. And then Mallory, you are my backup bidder, so be ready to let me know which one or ones you'd like. He wants the blue one, okay. So Warren is taking the blue one for 33. Mallory, would you like, oh, why am I trying to take it from you? Fire me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mallory, uh, would you, Number 37, okay, she takes number 37. That is the fire agate. Um, let's see, Julie Vining, were you interested in this one for 29? You were the next bidder in line. Julie Vining. And then if Julie doesn't want this one, I'm going to open this one up to everyone. And I'll tell you how much in a second. Julie gets first choice. She's going to pass. Okay. First person who says they just type in me if you want this for $25. Just say me if you want this for $25. This is the gray onyx agate. You want that one too, Warren, for 25? Just confirm. And I'm going to grab out the next item up for bid. Yes. Okay. Warren takes that for 25. All right, I have a pretty little set. Now, I don't even know how that opens. Oh, this has a really neat closure. I'm going to show you. Um, this is a little pink beaded set. Now, I know this is old because, number one, we have screw back earrings. And then look at the closure on this. It's, it's that little hidden, oh, my goodness, I need... I need a better camera. I really do. That will cooperate. 
see how it's kind of hidden in there? Um, I think that's what, yeah. It's got the little, I forget what you call that, but I know they don't make them like that. <laughs> or maybe they do, but I know they don't make screw back earrings anymore. So there you go. All righty then. Oops. There we go. Okay. <laughs> you scared me there for a moment for a minute. Just had a little boo-boo on the spreadsheet. All right. Any interest? We got ten dollars with Julie. A jeweler could change those. They could, but I kind of like the I like the appeal of the vintage screwback look. But I guess if you actually really wanted to wear them instead of just collect them, I could see that. All right, we're at ten dollars going once. Maybe sound. I actually have a really, really, really high-powered webcam that I bought for this, but I don't have a really, really high-powered computer to run it. My computer said, uh-uh, when I tried to plug it in. So uh, what, what Santa needs to bring me is a really good computer. That's what I need. This one is like six or seven years old, if that tells you anything. It's had a little slight upgrade, but other than that, it's it's a dinosaur. All right, we are at $20 with Margaret Albers. $20 going once. Going twice. And so. <laughs> oh, this next lot is fun. Just fun. Brings back memories. So many of you have asked for my Avon story. So I will tell my Avon story. Um, as we get ready to do this next lot, which they do happen to be Avon, but they're very collectible Avon. I'm just waiting for that sold to come through. And there it is. Uh, Julie Bining for $21. Okay. These are the 1970s. They, they would have a little fragrance that would be inside. They call them fragrance. Okay. It's G-L-A-C-E. Glacé? I said it. It's a glacé. Oh, that's such a bougie word. <laughs> so Avon does bougie. Um, you're going to get all three. This is not choice. They are dated from the 1970s. I looked a couple of these up. Go look what these go for over on eBay. Some of them bring some pretty good money. Oh, how about if I actually start the camera? There we go. All right, you're getting all three, one money, and I will tell you my Avon story. So back in the 90s, I was an Avon lady. I did a little bit of everything, you guys. I went from uh, direct sales to direct sales to MLMs. To, I tried them all. Watkins, uh, Electrolux vacuum cleaners, um, Party Light. Let's see, Christmas Around the World, House of Lloyds. I did Mary Kay for like one rah-rah session, and then I said I couldn't do it. <laughs> it was just, it was just a little too happy for me. Um, and Let anybody, me anybody who's ever been to a Mary Kay convention knows exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, and then I started doing Avon. And back in the day, it was, you know, you went and you handed out your Avon catalogs. Um, a lot of times it was just, you know, at your places you worked or your neighborhood, or you could go door to door and do door hangers. And I did that. I scoped out like some neighborhoods and did that. And then I started to think like, you know, there's only so much time to get all these catalogs out. So then I started to mail them out, bulk mail. 
um, I had a list, I got it from the post office of like, I just picked a neighborhood and I mailed out hundreds, hundreds of catalogs and I got orders like crazy. It was a booming business. And then I thought, oh my gosh, I don't have time to get all of these orders out on a timely basis. So we were not allowed to have a store. You couldn't have a retail space. So I read that contract and I'm like, okay, there ain't nothing in here says I can't have a showroom. So I opened the very first Avon showroom on Whittier Boulevard in La Havre, California. My grandmother lived directly across the street. So at that time, Jordan was a baby and I would take Jordan over to be babysat by my grandma. We, I think about it now as like we jaywalked with a baby across the street like several times a day. It was a little nuts. Um, but, you know, it was just a thing back then. And so I had my showroom and it was doing quite well. Now what would happen is I was still mailing out the catalogs and then people would come and pick up their orders. They would also come place orders because I had all the samples. I had all the stuff. I had all the, the demos. And I was doing about a quarter of a million dollars a year in Avon sales. But this is the funny thing about corporate. Avon was not happy with me doing this. They wanted me shut down. But there was nothing in the contract that prevented me from doing this. So what they ended up doing. Well, so those of you who have sold Avon know you have a certain amount of time. To collect from your customers and then pay the, the invoice that you owe to Avon. They cut my time down to one week, which seems like a lot of time until you're processing a quarter of a million dollars a year in sales. Um, and it, they just finally made it so that it was so ridiculous for me to keep up with the paying the bill that I ended up closing it down. And lo and behold, Avon changed its contract to new reps coming in. And they also opened, get ready for it, their own showroom in LA. So that is my little claim to fame with Avon. I caused a major corporation to change their policy and gave them the idea to open a showroom. So there it is. That's my Avon story. All right, and we're at $25. Is that where I'm at? $25 with Tammy. And we're going once. And we're going twice. And sold. I'm sure a lot of you have sold Avon. Yep. I loved it. I loved it. My grandmother was a great customer. It was so funny. And now that I'm kind of the age where she was back then it's like i get it she was trying all of like the you know the special wrinkle reducing creams and all that she'd buy it all from me it was awesome okay we have two i'm going to keep them on this to show you what the lot is first and then i'm going to show them to you one at a time two fantastic chunky fun necklaces oops let me lift one up you got, you got the flowers there, and then you got all of this rhinestone goodness. So we'll take them off and show one at a time. I don't remember looking for marks on these. Candy wants oh, to know what your number one seller was. Do you remember? Oh, Skin So Soft. Oh, hands down. Skin So Soft was a ridiculous seller. This is tagged ink, I-N-C. So this is an I-N-C necklace. It's also, it was during the time, oh, this one, oh, this one has a name too, but I don't know who it is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know who this maker is. Maybe you guys do. Oh, come on, show it. I don't know. That's, oh, it's not going to show you. There we go. There's the mark on this one. Um. 
I was there when they came out with a new, which was the, um, oh, what was that? It's an acid. It's um, high, uh, high, blah, blah, blah. hydrochloric. Was it hydro? That doesn't sound right. I don't know. Some new acid treatment for your skin. The new. What's it? What's in the new? It's, okay, now I can't see. My brain can't do that. I have to know. Ingredient in a new. That's not it. In Avon, a new. Because apparently Avon's not the only one with an a new. My goodness. It would help if I could type. Um. Have they changed it? That's not what it was when it first came out. Oh, that's weird. They've changed the ingredients. Or I'm just not remembering it right. Susan says alpha hydroxy. Thank you. Alpha hydroxy. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. So funny thing is. This is where Avon was really, really smart. Now, you know, Avon does not manufacture any of its own products. They contract out, or at least they did. I don't know if it's changed now. They contract everything out. So they produced this alpha hydroxy, and they had a patent on it. Nobody else could make a product with the alpha hydroxy in the percentages that they did for five years, they had the market, and that was a big, big product for Avon. And then after that, that patent time ran out. Now other companies came in and did it, and they, you know, but um, Avon was a very smart company. They were sold. Oh man, I'm trying to think when when it happened. Avon's not the Avon that it was back in the day. It's been sold out to bad, bad stuff. It's not the Avon of yesterday that we knew. Okay. Um, so I can't say to the quality of the products from, I think about, Oh, see, now I have to look for the date. When was Avon sold? 2016, 2016, they sold 80% of their North American business to a private private equity firm. Cerberus Capital Management. I don't know. It all goes downhill from there. <laughs> but they used to contract with Waterford, Lennox. Um, oh, my gosh. Big, big name. Fenton, um, Westmoreland. All did products for them, but you never saw those manufacturer names because Avon was brilliant in private labeling it as Avon. It's it's. It's actually a really fascinating company to follow because everybody now has the opportunity to do that. Like we can sell this stuff on Amazon as our own brand. If we want to, anybody can build that kind of a business out where to do that back then was like a big deal. Thank you, Karen, for the super chat. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for spotting that. That chat kind of goes fast and scrolls off the screen. Huh? <laughs> Yep, skin so soft for mosquitoes. It does work. All right, we're at $15. I think these are better than that, guys. Especially, I love this one. Anybody figure out what that brand was on that one? Karen Peacock. Thank you so much. Um, Ink International Concepts. Oh, from Macy's. Okay. Anybody know what that other one was? I'm, I'm looking, it's, oh, you think it's a B? Oh, Banana Republic. It's a Banana Republic. Okay, sweet. Very cool. All right, thank you for that. Warren, you just wanted to say bougie. <laughs> it's like the word of the day. I had somebody comment, what's bougie? Because <laughs> I use that in my title. Sarah Coventry originally made Avon's jewelry. Probably one of the companies that made jewelry for Avon. All right, we're at $20 going once. We're going twice. And we're going to call them. So, just like that. 
Uh, rhinestones. I got rhinestones here somewhere. Oh, oh, okay. Raise your sights. Get over that talk about Avon and Banana Republic because now we have we have vintage rhinestones. I'm just saying. Probably should take this off of the card, but I'll leave it on. I don't. I don't. Yeah, because we're going to need to show the back. Well, let me show it on the card and then we'll take it off. All right. In this lot, you are getting three sets of earrings and a pin. I usually write that down on my spreadsheet, and I didn't. Um, so here is the pin and matching earrings set. Focus, camera, come on. There we go. Look at the color in this. It's fantastic these are clip-ons we're going to take them off of here can you you work on i won't put you on camera until you got that i'll show these other ones and then and then we have some other rhinestone clip-on earrings there you go these have really uh like brown tone to them and then we have this pair of clip-on earrings they have that uh, Aurora Borealis kind of look going on, if I do say so myself. We're going to take them off of the paper so that we can do them justice here. Also make sure there's no marks that we're missing. Come on, get off of there. Let me look on one of these. Oh, let me put you on uh, camera. That would help. Ready? Ready. All right. Yeah, I don't see any marks on those. The clear stones of that, like you said, the aurora, the rainbow color. Yeah. They're very, they're very blingy. Very, very blingy. Amber tone. Thank you. That was, sometimes the, the brain just won't spit out the word, you know? It happen, did it happen to you when you're filming? Always. Like, you know the word is right there, and you just can't come up. And then you say something really stupid. <laughs> Usually, yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. It makes for comments. You yeah. know? <laughs> it's not bad. It's, this is gorgeous. It is. That is an and amazing it's a good size. It is. It's, it's, oh, black light. They want to see the black light. Oh, oh. <laughs> Melissa's like, black light them. <laughs> light them up. All right. Let's do this. Whoop. You never know what's going to happen when you do the black light. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything happening. No. no, no. No black light action on these. Probably because they're not glass. Are they? Well, those feel like glass stones, actually. Okay, yeah, yeah. That one definitely feels like glass. They're just not. What is that? Mag magnesia or something is what makes them glow it has the figure eight puddling figure eight puddling oh all right oh the brooch is definitely juliana d and e thank you elaine it, it is pretty spectacular cadmium I don't know. I you know again. It's one of those things. I know that you know stuff makes stuff glow, but I don't know exactly the whole science behind it. And that's why I do this instead of trying and list this stuff on eBay. Because <laughs> knowing me, I would say it wrong. Oh yeah, I'm I'm just confirming. I'm I'm looking over on eBay at the Juliana. D and E stuff, and it's definitely it's definitely that same quality, style, color. Absolutely. Ooh, some of that stuff goes for some. It does. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Wow. Can I bid? <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany wants to bid. See, we're at $45. This might be the deal of the day. Just saying. 
Wow. All right. I'm giving you guys a chance to go look this up. Make, make sure you sort by highest first. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I have $50 with Susan Way. Remember, at $5 bid increments now. Usually gold plated, tons of glitz, built in mechanism. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. That definitely applies here. Fantastic. And it's a set. It's a set. And you get the other ones uh, thrown in there too. All right. Are we all in, all done? $50 is with Susan Way. We're going once. We're going twice. I'm making sure my chat is not frozen before I say, or is everybody over on eBay looking these up? <laughs> All right, get those bids in because I'm going to call them. Sold. Thank you. I just unfroze the chat there. All right. Deal of the day. For sure. Well, we'll just follow it up with another I know is going to be a deal of the day, too. We're all about the deals of the day. Alrighty, we do this every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Every Friday. There's my soul. Karen Peacock got in for $60. Thank you, Karen. I think I think you got the deal of the day. I think that was a spectacular set. Okay, this is being sold on its own because I will tell you why. This is natural crazy lace agate. And when I was going through these last night, I found on the chain a mark that says 18K. So I believe our chain is not going to cooperate with me. Come on, camera. You're killing me, Smalls. Oh, my goodness. Okay, you're fired, camera. You're just fired. Okay, I'm going to show them this. Let's see if I can get it to manual focus because how do you need to share it? Where is my... All right, I'm taking that off. Can you hold this up to that so that I can then... Do the auto zoom. I mean, do the. It's on the little. Here we go. It's on the little tag piece right there. Can you go a little closer? Oh, my goodness. Still can't get it to cooperate, huh? Maybe I can get it. Yeah, maybe. Oh, wait. Oh, it's trying. It's trying. All right. <laughs> oh, wait. I was doing the wrong one, you guys. Hold on. I just... Hold on. Oh, hey. I was working on that Zoom. Let's try that again with the focus. I was doing Zoom instead of focus. My bad. Go closer. I'm trying to look in there. We go. Maybe, uh, there, you can almost see it. There you go. Okay. See it? 18K. There it is. Woo. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah. There goes the black light. She's throwing stuff across the room now. That's really funny. Looking over. You guys are like, you're zooming yourself. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. 
I just, I really wanted you to see that I really did see that it said 18K on this chain. And it is a, it's gorgeous. It's like a twist. Let's see how long that chain is from top to bottom. It is a, I'm going to call it what, 20 inch chain? Yeah. 20 inch chain with a twist. Yeah, it does look like gold too. I again, I don't guarantee it gold because I don't have a gold tester, but I am 99.9% .9 sure that it is gold. So we'll go with that. It is a quality piece. It's got all the right stuff going on with it to be real gold. And we are at $55 with Susan Way. And then did you notice on the pendant, one side has like a little, there we go. It's got the little, almost a crystal oh, yeah. inset to it. We are at we, $5 in big, blah, 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 $5 bid increments, Anna. So, um, and Susan's at 60. So the next bid would be 65. So we're at 60, needs 65 or better. We're at 60, looking for 65. Ooh, I sound like an auctioneer now. <laughs> 65, looking for 70. 65, looking for 70. 70, 70, 70, 70, who'll be 70? 65. Isn't that what you hear when you go to an auction? Exactly. Yes. Yep. We're at 70 with Anna S. We're at $70 with Anna S. 75 with Susan Way. Oh, stop, Melissa. <laughs> we can't blacklight everything. <laughs> I know she's kidding too because she did the little tongue sticking out thing. <laughs> We're at 75 with Susan Way. All right, there's your black light. This, it's, oh, well, the white seems to be whiter. Interesting. Interesting. All right. We're at $80 with Mallory. $80 with Mallory. Are we all in all done? Because we're going to count it down. 85 with Susan Way. I didn't start yet. I didn't start yet. We're going once. We are going twice. And we're going to call this one. Sold. I still like why I'm like, watch the bids come in, but now to let the lag, let the lag do its thing. Dum, dum, dum. Oh, we're making good time today. Look at that. And. Um, there it is. There's the sold. Susan Way for $95. Thank you so much, Susan, and everybody who bid on that. I always feel better bringing you guys the quality pieces when the when the bids go where they should. All right. Now we just have three necklaces. Kind of lackluster after all that stuff, right? Um, these are all just costume jewelry pieces. I bought this thinking it was stones at first, and it's not. Um, so we have, oops, where am I? We have this one that's like a a little bib necklace. So elegant. It is. It's very lightweight, too. If you're like me and you can't wear a lot of weight around your neck, it's a good necklace for that. This one kind of had that jadeite look going. That's what attracted me to it. Stop bouncing. But they are just little plastic stones. But they have the jadeite color. Like, if you like jadeite and you just want the... The color, oops, my bad. <laughs> and then this one, I don't even know what to say about this one. It's it's just, it's got a little tassel. It's got a little flower. This one, uh, I don't know. I just don't know. There we go. All three pieces, one money. We are at... Oh, that's awesome, Susan. 
It will get safely to you, I promise. Uh, we're at $5 with Hustle and Budget Mom. $5. Perfect Mother of the Bride necklaces. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that is not a good thing, Deborah. All right. We're at $5 going once. Going twice. And we'll call it sold. All right. I'm, I'm actually pressing myself today. I'm not losing any of my lots. Woohoo! Oh, I'm noticing something on this one. Okay. Um, oh, that's awesome. That's awesome that uh, we got it together. I think those will fit like on the next shelves too. I think we did that last time. Let's squeeze them. Or you can put it like on like on a shelf below. On one of the different levels. Oh, you already have been. Never mind. My bad. I got it. Rachel just puts them on the floor, you know. <laughs> oh, Roman got in there for $10. Thank you, Roman. All right. This is a lot of three pins. These are all together. These are not choice. One of them has a, a little bit of stone missage. Um, so I'll show that one in a second. This one, I don't see. I don't see a maker's mark. It's just a nice little, like a, like a laurel wreath. That's the word I was looking for. Come on, stop showing my face and show the, the thing. There we go. Oh, I'm just going to give it to you. <laughs> it's not one to show up for me. And then this one is like a little, it's got the little wheat. Wasn't wheat like prosperous or good luck or something? Isn't that why a lot of wheat was, was used in things? Yeah, I think so. This one looks like it wants to be signed, but... That might be a signature, like right there, I think it. And then this is the one, it is missing a little, probably a little rhinestone from up in the corner there. See, there's a missing rhinestone. And then I think there might've been another one of those brown cabochons. So let's just call this one a throw in. Bit on the other two and I'll just throw that one in. How's that? All right. Any interest? I think that one is signed, but I can't make out who it is. See right there? Oh, I can almost read it. Hmm. It's tough. Let me see if I use my really, really close up magnifier. Magnifier. If I can make it out. Stand by. Yeah, you could actually replace all of these with the same thing if you wanted to. I know I have a lot of crafters in my audience, so that's why I don't mind just putting this stuff up because they can make it good as new. Normally I would have put that into a, a repair lot, but I don't have a repair lot today. I just didn't have time to put it together. I I can't read it. Even even with that, I can't read it. Good night, Jules. Thank you. Oh, good night, Jules. Oh, it's 11 p.m. Thank you so much. All right, we're at five dollars with Tammy. Five dollars with Tammy going once. Going twice. And sold. Okay, the next lot is going to be another choice. There's all my snipers coming in. <laughs> Hi, cat. Hi, cat. 
Oh, it's probably a really nice day for working out in the garden. I don't blame you. And there's the souls. Looks like $10 to hustle and budget mom. All right. This is a choice of carved wood animal necklaces. So let me show you the choice. Basically, the difference is the beads. Um, but we're going to call this one the, the one that has the giraffe. Because the other one doesn't have a giraffe. So here's the animals. Is that a sticker? Yeah, it's sticker schmoosh. It's got sticker schmoosh on him. All right, so we've got... We've got this one, and then we've got this one, and this one has the shells. So when you make your choice, if you're the winner, say shells or no shells. That's the biggest way to differentiate these, because see, these have really cool little shell beads at the end. It's got a rhino, a zebra, I think that's supposed to be like a lion, maybe, or maybe even a tiger. I don't know. Um, it's also got these really neat beads here. Um, this one has the barrel clasp. Is that a barrel clasp? And the other one, is the other one barrel clasp also? No, that one doesn't have a clasp. It's just a slip on. So, all right. Oh, and I'm just falling down on the job here. Here we go. We are at $12 with Warren Hart. $12 with Warren Hart. All righty. $16 is with Warren. Remember, this is choice. Oh, I heard that the Northwest and like British Columbia, Canada are going to have some record setting temperatures and it is not going to be fun. And got to remember up there, a lot of the houses don't even have air conditioning because temperatures don't really get high enough for that. So I am worried about many of my, my viewers and friends that live up in that area, Oregon, Washington, yeah, it's going to be weird. It's going to be weird. They have those little portable. I know it doesn't work for like a whole house, but I just got Noah one because his room heats up more than the rest of the house. It's a little portable evaporative cooler. And he's been running it and says it works really good uh, to cool his room. So if you have like an office and, you know, I'm just saying it was only like 35 bucks at Home Depot. Could be a solution to get through. And we're at $16. Are we all in all done? We will say going once. And $20 from Deborah. Going twice. Remember, this is choice, so be ready with your choice. And we're going to call this lot, drum roll, sold. All right. And let's see. You could just cut that lag. Cut that lag. I'm like a person who really, really hates like wasted time. And to me, that's what lag is. It's like all this like time gap stuff. Like if you added up all the lag moments that we have to wait for, it's like, whoa, makes me crazy. I want that time back. All right. I see. Uh, Barbara Phillips got in at $23. So Barbara, you get first choice. And she wants the no shell. And then I think I saw that hustle and budget mom wants the one with the shell for 22. So I think we got them both sold. Just confirm that hustle and budget. And uh, yep, yep, you got the one with the shell. So that worked out perfect. 
All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So Sarah Lee, if you could please not type in caps because I that's kind of reserved for my moderators over there because that's how I keep an eye on what's going on. So because if everybody started typing in caps, I wouldn't know what was going on. And that would be bad because I already have problems knowing what's going on. So <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Now this next is also, this is going to be a choice lot, but it's not what you think. It's choice quantity. Because I have several of these really cute little stick pins. Let me kind of pull some over here. I mean, there, there's no one that's exactly the same because they're real shells. So they're all about the same size, but your choice is going to be for how many you want, not picking out an individual one. And you can pick up to, how many do I have? Oh, I have 10. I have 10 of these. So your bid is for one, but you can have up to one, up to 10. So it times the money. And here's what they look like. It's cute little little shell stick pins. So your bid is for one. Your bid is for one, but you can choose up to 10 of them if you would like them. Hello, toothbrusher. Yes, better late than never. <laughs> so hopefully my order comes when the boyfriend is at work. <laughs> And may I just say that is one of the glorious things about being single. <laughs> I only have myself to deal with. And I go, what did you do? What did you buy that for? <laughs> Chris orders more stuff than I do. <laughs> oh. Okay. So this is nice. So if anybody follows Jordan on TikTok, which is it's J underscore Wheezy, um, W-E-A-Z-Y. So she just posted a TikTok and I haven't busted her on it yet. She had this stack of Amazon boxes and she even said I may have an online shopping problem <laughs> and she goes on about all of this exercise stuff here I'll put that there so I can have my hands all this exercise stuff she ordered now now here's where I'm going to call her out because I know she doesn't watch this is we're talking about reducing her credit card debt so the mom and me is going um Anyway, all of you moms out there know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Social media makes it so easy to see the things that our kids are doing that they shouldn't be doing. I'm just going to leave it at that. That's a great idea, Rebecca. Oh, they would be great on lapels at an island-themed wedding for the groomsmen and best man. Oh, they would, wouldn't they? Maybe that's, maybe that's what they were used for. Oh, your boyfriend recently learned how to use the Amazon app. I know how to use that app. <laughs> All right. We are $7 with Julie. With $7 going once. Going twice. And sold. Okay. So, Julie, be ready. Well, let's see if you're the winner. Don't know if we have any snipers coming in. Hey, Mr. Ja Chapter 2 Vintage Co. Hey, Aaron. I was trying to pop into your sale this morning, but I was driving. So it was a little difficult. I couldn't type. I watched a little bit, but I couldn't type. All right. There's my soul. Okay, so um, Julie, how many would you like? Julie Vining, how many would you like? Up to 10. And then my backup bidder, and what I'm going to say on these, um, backup bidders, if you would like to be at $7, let me know. Um, we're going to do these at $7. 73,000 dollars in less than a year. 
Ouch. Ouch. Julie. How many, Julie? One of my mods could tag her. We want to keep it rolling. And then backup bidders, be ready. The price is seven dollars. We'll see these up here. Okay, I know where they're at. Hello, hello, is this thing on? <laughs> Okay, confess, how many of you are watching this and multitasking? I'm just saying. Please, 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 guys. Be ready. Otherwise, I'm just going to put all 10 of them on your invoice. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, okay. Well, this creates a little bit of a difficulty. Since Julie is not responding, um, let's see. Let me see what my backups were. Okay, Flojo, you were the backup there. So you can have two of them at seven. So put Flojo 6274 down for two of them at seven dollars okay julie takes two roylene takes two we have four. Oh, i got her yep um we have four left we got four left anybody else at seven dollars anybody said we we will just move. Oh, and Carla C takes two. Anyone? Anybody want the last two? Two seems to be the way it is. Anybody want the last two? It's seven dollars each. If not, oh, this next item. Oh, this next item. We're gonna move on to this next item here. Okay, we will just close it down then. Thank you, everyone. Um, I'll keep them up here that way. I know where they're at. All right. I do not even know what to say about this. It's a statement piece. It is, this is a statement piece. Now, what you may not realize is this. It's made from abalone. He is a carved abalone shell fish. Uh, he's pretty amazing. And then these are, I don't even know what kind of beads. These, I mean, it's some kind of a seed, a, pod. a seed pod. I mean, this is, this is an incredible piece. I, I mean, it may not be everybody's, style but this is a crazy cool piece especially since your little fishy dude is <laughs> the statement anyways no it's abalone i bet if i was listing this on ebay i would expect to get 80 to 100 dollars for this no lie. Yeah. But it's 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 a really amazing piece. I'm gonna let it's like a clownfish, isn't it? I kind of yeah. I mean the carved fish detail is pretty amazing, and the fact that they use the red abalone. Oh, they use the red abalone, you know, and made that the focal point, and not the actual polished abalone part. Uh, is pretty interesting. <laughs> I just saw something funny. Noting for skinny people, they would fall over. <laughs> it's, like, it's possible. It's possible. 
it would be great to take apart and make a ton of things. There you go. You can do whatever you want with it when it's yours. Clown trigger fish. Yeah. And I'm, I'm thinking maybe this, you know, is, are these like a Hawaiian kind of something? I don't know. But there's a lot of them. And they all had to be strong. They're really heavy duty. They are. They're, they're not like flimsy cards. They're thick. The fish in a shadow box. Oh, yeah, yeah. You frame it. Yeah, the fish is. I love the fish. That's why. That's what drew me to it was the fish. You frame the whole like, thing. He is. Yeah. He's, he's cool. He's just cool. And he's shiny. It's a big hunk of, of abalone, too. And uh, let's see. You could see a celebrity wearing this with a mini dress and chunky heels. There you go. All right. Where is our, I know I saw a bid. Humbled in him is at $35. We're at $35. $40. With Hustle and Budget Month. They look like sea beans that have been opened. Okay. I do not know what a sea bean is. There is something else I will have to Google when we are done. $40 to Hustle and Budget Mom. Going once. Going twice. And sold. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, let's put him back on here. Keep him safe. I don't want to. He's so cool. <laughs> there you go. All right. What do we got next? Two glass pendant and pin. Oh, you guys. Kona nut shells? Maybe. I don't know. Where's my soul? There it is. Lynn got it for $50. That means free shipping too on that. All right. You're getting two pieces now. Boy, I tell you, I really think that this might be a sterling chain, but I'm not, I'm not saying it is because I don't know for sure. It just has that vibe to me. But what you're really bidding on is this really groovy, cool glass pendant. It is fused glass. There's the back. You see the layers. All right. I'm going to let Tiffany show you that piece and see if you see a mark up there that I'm missing. And then the other, the pin is also glass and it's got a really muted like coloring. It's also fused glass, but it's just there's not a lot of color to it. It's very, very pale. And there we go. There's the focus. Almost looks like a barcode to me. That's what I thought. Like it's a barcode. But you're getting both pieces, one money. Both pieces, one money. On the glass. This almost looks like a Murano piece. This is how Murano backs theirs with this blue. Oh. But it usually says Murano yeah. on it, but it's gorgeous. It is. It's a really nice. It could be Murano. It could be Murano. I mean, look at the caning inside of there. It's a really nice piece. And we're at $10. $10 on the two glass pieces. Possibly Murano. That one's not possibly Murano. And we are at $10. It's all my glass lovers. I see 15 <laughs> with Rebecca S. I know poor Tiffany. She's like, I want to bid. You guys at least have to bid enough that Tiffany doesn't feel bad. <laughs> $16 with Warren Hart. 16 is where we're at. And it's possibly a silver toe. What is your feeling on that chain? It does. I. Let me see. Possibly. I know. It's, 
I need to get a tester. That's what I need to do. I do need to get a silver and gold tester. We are at 20 with Rebecca S. I mean, it's a really good looking chain. I'll say that. Whether it's silver or not, it's not a cheap looking chain at all. Which also leads me to believe that it's possibly Murano if they put it on a nice chain. All right, we're at $20 going once. $25 with Warren going twice. And we're going to call it Get those snipe bids in right now because it's sold. Wow. We're almost done and way ahead of schedule. Look at that. Nicely done. I see birds. You see birds. I'm just there's the sold. All right. Oh, thank you, Anna S. Thirty dollars to Anna S. And Anna, if you find out that's Murano, I would love to know. I love you know stories of you guys find great stuff here and then turn around and make buku bucks on it. Does anybody still say that buku bucks? I do. Or did I? Okay, I didn't just like date myself. See, you on do that. speak French. Is that? Oh. <laughs> oui, oui. <laughs> <laughs> Anna says, I finally got something. You did it. <laughs> okay, this is another choice lot. And you're going to get a choice. Oh, by the way, this is our last lot. And then I'm going to give stuff away. How about that? If I'm looking right. Yeah, I didn't miss anything. We're good. Okay, we have, uh, I'll do him last. We have a parrot on a little stand. He's ceramic. He purple. He's a purple parrot. Purple. It's really good that Rachel's not here right now. <laughs> we have the need to turn on the camera. There we go. We have an owl. Wait, I just he marked little owl. Yes, you are. You are a Jerry. It's a Jerry owl. Not geriatric, just Jerry. I know he might be geriatric. It depends. What's a you know? So a dog, a dog year is like seven human years. So what's a year of costume jewelry? <laughs> and then we have the stunning peacock with the little rhinestones that my camera doesn't want to focus on because it still sees my face. Come on. Come on, there we go. Look at you. So there's your peacock. Just, I don't see any missing stones, but wait, yep, take that back. I see one, two, looks like, oh, there's like five little missing stones stones throughout this little guy just so take note of that we'll show you a little closer up and then last but not least we're just calling this the flying bird and he has that real neat cut again jewelry term what's the jewelry term for when the cut that they use makes it look shiny you know like it's it's got like depth to it That's what he looks like. It might be like trying to look like a hummingbird. Now I'll hear it's a rhinestone peacock every time I hear the cowboy song. <laughs> <laughs> like a rhinestone peacock. <laughs> he can't ride out on his horse. Oh, flying out in front of the horses <laughs> so I can make them lose their minds. All right. Diamond cut. Thank you. That is the term I was looking for. All right. You're bidding on one, but you can choose up to four of them. Faceted. Diamond cut. Diamond cut. 
let's see, I see 15 twice. Warren, you were first at 15, so I'm with Warren at 15. We are at $18, Mary Ann Grogan. Mary Ann Grogan. $20 with Warren. And remember, be ready to let me know your choice or choices. All right, let's count them down. Going once. Where'd Deborah go for the owl? She's my owl buyer. The owl lover isn't here today either. Going twice. Get your snipey snipes in, because this lot is sold. And we will leave them on the screen so that the winners can state their choices. You've got a parrot, an owl, a peacock, or a flying bird. How you spent your lot today? Just looking for my soul to come up. There it is. Okie dokie. Warren, you get first pick. Oh, Christine K. Time to refresh. Yes, everyone make sure that you are refreshed and up about this time. You know, it can fall back and, and that can make the difference between you getting in on the bid or not. And then Mary Ann Grogan, you are my backup bidder, so be ready. Oh, you want to give the parrot to Rachel. That is very sweet. So he takes the flying bird and the parrot. So um, Mary... Marianne Grogan, do you want the owl or the peacock? Do you want the owl or the peacock? Let us see. Let us see. Where, oh, where are you? When I need you. See, now you know what all this lag looks like coming from this end. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the waiting game. Yay, Marianne takes the peacock. Takes the peacock. Poor little owl. Poor little owl. Nobody wants the little Mr. Owl. Please give me a home. You know, it's killing Deborah right now. It's just killing Deborah right now not to get that owl. Okay, Deborah, we're going to work it out. How's that? We're going to work it out. I know that owl needs to go to you. Okay. Ooh, look at this. We are, I could have put 10 more things in the sale. What do you got? It's all good, I know. Ah, I could, I could grab something. I could grab something. I could grab something, couldn't I? This is all like stuff that was bought in the past and never paid for and... Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. We can end early. But let me give stuff away. So, um, I actually had some extras of the little shell pins. So, I'm going to give some of these away. So, here's how this is going to work. Um, and I can take this back now. Let me turn that on. Okay, so this is how it's going to work. Oh, my phone has just been blowing up. Um, let me find my little random number picker here. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to give a number. If you are interested in one of these being thrown into your box, if you've been a winner today, uh, I will do that. And I actually have, wait, how many of them? Oh, okay. I can give away eight of these today. Um, so 
If you did not win something today, but you would like one of these, you will only be charged the shipping, which would be like three or four bucks max. Max. Um, I do have to protect it a little bit. So I'm going to say shipping is going to be around four bucks on these. So if you didn't win anything and you want one, you are eligible to participate. Uh, if you were a winner today, this would just get added to your box with, you know, no added charge. And if you would like one, the number to put over in the chat is 23. I don't know why that number just came to my head, but good number. let's go with it. Number 23. I'm surprised how. Oh, because I only went to 30 lots. That's why. I should have done 40 lots. I think I got sleepy last night. Oh, spell check. check. Yeah, I got that problem all the time. All right. Everybody get your number 23 in if you would like one. And if one of my moderators could type stop. I'm going to count these up. See what we got. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Got twelve of you. Ooh. All right. Almost everybody's going to get one. Um, okay. All right, the first person is number six, which is one, two, three, four, five. Warren Hart. Warren Hart is the first one. Oh, and Susan Way is the second. Oh boy, I gotta do math here. One, two, three, four, five. Bree, Bree gets the third one. Rebecca S. Rebecca S. gets the fourth one. I was going to count backwards and I forgot what number that was. One, two, three. Uh, Karen Peacock. Karen Peacock. And Lynn. Comble. Lynn gets one. Carla C. Carla C. Carol Bloom. Carol Bloom. What do I have? Two left. Oh boy. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. Deborah, is it Vachen? I know I'm probably messing that up, but Deborah Vachen, Vachen, Vachen. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Did I go over? Did I mess up? Oh, no. I thought I was caught up. Well, I will see if I can find another one. Um, cause I boo-booed on that. Wow. We are done. We are done at three forty. Woohoo. Which it works out really good because you have to go pick up your, your son. Right? Do. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Tiffany has a new video coming out Sunday morning. Is it anybody I know in it? Only you. Oh, <laughs> I was just trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, so we <laughs> was we went yard sailing and a good one. Oh, it's the yard sale <laughs> one. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, Brie, that is absolutely so amazing of you. I will make it up to you, Brie. I think I have something else we'll, you will like around here. You're lovely, Brie. She is. Um, thank you to all of my moderators over there. You guys, this is volunteer. There's, there's no pay. There's no, there's no perks. I mean, except just giving back to the community, which is you guys. 
And I thank everybody who spent the afternoon with me here. I know there's probably 101 things you could be doing rather than, you know, sitting at my live sale. So I do appreciate you coming and joining in and sharing information and just having fun. And um, yeah, I actually I need I need to go shopping tonight because I don't have my videos for the weekend. So that's how close I've run it. <laughs> um, my ticket, but I have one video for tomorrow. I went to a Salvation Army today that I haven't been in in over a year. It was really crazy. It all changed. Um, so that'll be coming out tomorrow. Um, make sure that if you are not already subscribed, that you hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification so you know not only when new videos go up, but also when I go live. I'm really working on adding some more stuff in, doing some more fun stuff as we ah, go into July. Ooh, July. Summer. You know what? I really should not have taken that off of the um, share thing. I could have given a little preview of some of the stuff coming up in next Friday sale. That was like mm, not very smart of me. I will start doing that. But we have, I can show you. I can show you. Mm. I have trinket boxes, like the bedazzled rhinestone trinket boxes, lots of them, lots and lots of them to choose from. So I can show you that. I do have those coming up. And as with everything else, they are starting at $1 bids, $1 bids. I'll try to get a preview video out before Friday. <laughs> going to try, going to try. Oh, who does thumbs down? Oh, it's probably the same people that leave me hateful, awful messages about how ugly my hair is and that I need to get my teeth fixed. Oh, no, the latest one, they actually sent it uh, not to my channel comments, but to my eBay messages about how what a horrible mother I am because I don't get my children's teeth straightened. <laughs> Uh, I pray for these people. I got to tell you, anybody who's got such ugliness in them to say stuff like that is just, it's very sad. It is very sad. Um, but it is, it is part of being on YouTube. I don't know a single YouTuber who doesn't get comments like that, you know, in some form or another, because there's just so many unhappy people out there. But I'm glad all my happy people were here today. You guys notice we didn't have any trolls? Yay! <laughs> All right, everyone. I will get invoices out. If not tonight, I will get them out by tomorrow. Um, wait for the invoice, please. I, I, My life doesn't function without my routines now. And it's like invoice out, invoice paid, print, invoice ship. That's just how I do it. So, <laughs> Also, if you have purchased something from me, Outside of the live sales, because you guys know you can do that. If you see me buy something you want, you don't have to wait for live sale. You don't have to wait for it to go on eBay. You can just email me directly. But just please include which video it came from, or even better yet, a screenshot of the item so I know exactly what it is, and your offer. And uh, I try to get those invoices out about the same time I do the live sale invoices because I'm just in that mode. All right, everyone, have a fantastic weekend. Thank and with, you, Margaret. You're so sweet. Oh, yes. It was so fun having Tiffany here. I mean, and she's not afraid to be on video. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, go be profitable. And Thanks, Deborah, make, make it, it fun. fun. <laughs> have a great weekend.